hey guys so very welcome back to all you guys and uh, it has been a great session when i haven't launched the video because of some uh, i was busy with most of the things now but today i will be starting out uh, in the session with the very basic things is all about the countdown latch what is countdown latch why it is being so famous and uh, why it is being asked at least to the middle level programmers sometimes it is also even being asked by the senior programmers that what is countdown latch is all about so this is something a very sequence diagram that i have been drawing in and uh, in which i wanted to show that countdown latch is has to be used when you have uh, multiple threads with you and you wanted to assign them a piece of chunk but you want that your main threads to be up and running when your all child threads have done that thing so what happens is that key we started out with your main thread and uh, here you can initially see that uh, main thread doesn't do anything it all started out their dependent service threads and it's just the dependent service threads that they are started out and they do some processing and they end for example the very first thread which the mouse is being i am hovering over is a started out but it is end is uh, processing a task at this phase level the second uh, thread has also started a bit later it had done its processing so it has taken uh, more time as compared to the thread one and uh, if i look to the thread 3 so it is a very greatest one it has taken more time as compared to the previous two threads so the responsibility as you can see in every way that uh, the very first started out uh, it started out the, when we started out initially all these threads we have a countdown value of 3 and we can see in a sequence diagram when whenever the thread is ending it is started uh, you know decrementing the value the overall count value let's suppose if it has finished it keeps it to if this is finished it is uh keep to 1 okay uh, so okay and if this is finished then the whole the completely is being exhausted out so it reaches to countdown 0 and thereafter with the main thread wins it sees okay all the child threads which has spawned it out and uh, they have all done their rapid tasks so it's begin its execution and that's the latch countdown begins zero so that's what we i have developed few bit pieces of code uh, i will be uploading them on the github so that you can try it your end also uh let me show you that pieces of code which i have developed so these are very, very simple uh, examples that i have developed the interesting one is that how you can create your own custom countdown latch so that i will be covering up in this section itself so Let me start it out. I have just simply created a runnable. I think you guys are matured enough to know that there are ways to create a thread, and the traditional way is that to have implement your runnable interface, which has a run method. Okay. So now in Java, it has become a very functional interface. I am not going into in depth of it, but I wanted to show it out in the decompiler. Is that I have been using a class called custom count. Oh, uh, sorry, count on latch, which has been there and which has its own methods called await. okay and countdown okay so that says we see key that at end the decompiler also you can see it shows that it is decrement the value of countdown latch okay releasing all the waiting threads if countdown reaches to a zero so that is something that i wanted to show you out okay in the decompiler uh, you can go and revisit and you can check each and every methods but uh, right now i'm uh, i'm i'm being very kept focused on what i wanted to achieve so here i created my own constructor okay uh yeah, i have to write it out so that you guys can understand it out uh, much better okay although you can if anybody loves to use lombok you can you also use lombok so what i'm doing is that here i am uh, just initializing it and uh, this is my main method where i am being executing the same and i am what i am doing is that key starting out from the value of 2 to 0 and going out in a negative means for 2 for 1 until for 0 equal to 0 greater equal to 0 it will decrement the value of countdown and it will say ki that it has reduced the value of latch so i have kept it out and i have deliberately make thread to sleep for 1000 seconds so that you can see so what will happen is that main thread will start some initially will start it out with some child threads maybe a group of 3 4 5 <laughs> they all will do their successive task and they will start decrementing a value of counter once it reaches to 0 main thread will start and will print it out some message for the main thread so that you can you can just go and verify the same so that's what we are doing it out uh, let me uh, delete this what is being there in the updated template so this has been started out i have been creating a countdown latch i initially begin it with a value of 3 okay just for your understanding 
okay just a minute initially the value of first three and i say see that i created a countdown so this will be the very first statement which i say that i has created the countdown and then from here i am calling that class that is the runnable class that as i am calling it right now okay and from here the flow will land it up to this class the logic that we have seen in this class will land it up into the this class okay that is means i mean my, my runnable class and then we are passing uh, the countdown the highlighted one you can see the countdown latch object with a value of three so that means this will be executed for the three child threads okay so i hope you understand okay uh then once this has been reaches to countdown of zero the stage will come when all of them will get exhausted out as we have seen then main thread will continue uh its works the await method that i wanted to show is that key here we are waiting for a stage we are waiting the main thread is waiting for a stage where all the countdown threads are exhausted out they all are reaches to a counter of zero that's what it is awaiting okay so let me see in this method this says it causes the current thread to wait until all the latch countdown reaches to a zero that's the perfect definition that we can see in the decompiler of it okay so that's what i meant to say ki that here main thread is waiting till all the child threads have been exhausted and if they are exhausted it will say the main thread will say the count has been reached to zero and i am printing the thread name and here also inside the runnable i am printing the thread name so that you should get an idea ki which is child thread and which is main thread so i hope we understand the concept i have uh, already shown you this diagram so let's start in executing this program and i will be keeping and uploading it on github for you guys okay so let's run this program okay mm, let me run this program for you and you can see the magic what had happened that it created the initially count with a 3 from this line the flow goes to this class where all the count of 3 threads were there so first executed okay and uh, it says that uh, thread 1 has executed and its count was 2 the latch count was initially 2 it means it started from the index 0 so we passed it out the count of 3 here so out of this 3 because we passes out this object okay and this object was initialized with this value of 3 so thread 1 runs it done is processing it sleeps for a minute i have make it uh, sleep uh, deliberately so that you can understand and it has reduced it countdown because it finally was exhausted out and similarly happens with the count of other two threads also and once all of them exhausted out main thread was keep pulling here and it sees ki okay all of them child threads have existed or exhausted so it's time for me to get processed out so this is something that i wanted to show you for the custom countdown latch question comes uh, normally asked by lot of people ki real use case of countdown latch so i just shown you ki in a hypothetical matter if you are using a mutex although you can find it out the same definitions on internet also when you are going to search it out for these uh, definitions okay uh, so it says ki if uh, let's suppose if you are in a theater and right, you are only allowed to enter in the case when everyone in the theater you are watching the movie the previous show have left out then only you are allowed to enter so everyone and each person has to vacate the theater or uh, real life use case today we are getting a lot of multiple internet download manager where each a big chunk of uh, thing is being downloaded into assigned to different threads and they are on you know filling up their uh, chunks so each thread will wait for a counter method okay and uh, uh, a multi thread downloader manager where you start multiple threads to download the parts of files a big file is being divided into multiple chunks and where each thread will call a countdown methods on uh, instantiated latch and after all of the individual threads have finished the execution then comes the main thread which will latch and integrate the parts of the founds so this is something the real life use case examples a lot of people say ki that there is a big stone and we need at least 10 people to uplift that stone not count of 9 people cannot also uplift it so at least we want all the 10 of them to be there so this is can be a real life use case examples <clears throat> if somebody ask you so that's it from my side and uh, on the basics i will be coming up with the next video right now after this is about on uh, creating a custom countdown list but still you have any 
queries guys keep me posting up here on your request messages sections and i will be happy to answering you thank you thank you guys